Hey everyone! In this video I just wanted to show you a gesture recording and detection package I created for Unity. And uh, more specifically it's for Steam VR and Oculus Rift right now, but uh, it's easily configurable for other devices. So uh, the first part of this uh, is gesture recording. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and record a gesture, just like that. And uh, the white dots you see here are the plotted points that it actually captured over time. Uh, actual positions relative to the headset. So you can see as I rotate my headset around, it follows my headset. And then the red hands represent the movement over time. Uh, so yeah, uh, as you can see, my left hand was recorded here and uh, there's a lot of noise and uh, I didn't really want that to be in the recording. So I do have an algorithm that cuts out uh, hands if they don't move far enough, but uh, this moves a little too far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ignore that with uh, the option panel I have for the recording here. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and try to repeat the uh, recording. And if I was able to repeat it successfully, uh, it would be detected in the gesture, gesture detection algorithm. Uh, but so far, it's not detectable. And that's because uh, repeating a gesture with 100% accuracy is just really hard. <laughs> uh, so you want to... Uh, figure out like a balance for uh, various players and their body dimensions uh, that they can accomplish the same gestures uh, the same way you do. Uh, and same for the initial player who recorded it. So uh, I created a tuning algorithm. So the tuning algorithm uh, enables you to uh, you try to repeat the gesture. And in doing so, it looks at the amount of offset, the average amount of offset from all the attempts and uh, increases the tolerance for how off you could be uh, throughout repeating the gesture. So now you can see there's a, a bit of tolerance. And if I try to do the gesture again, now it's detectable. And uh, the red dots indicate uh, the progress through it. And uh, if I stop doing the gesture partway through, then uh, it, it will realize that I didn't make it up to that point in the same time. So it will cancel it, just like that. And if I make it all the way through, we'll play the ta-da sound. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's just with one adjustment. Normally, you would probably go through this a few more times uh, to train it really well, just like that. So now you can see uh, there's lots of uh, room for error in the start. And midway through, it should be pretty accurate. And then towards the end, it could be off. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So uh, I, I made all sorts of other actions in this package. So uh, one of the actions I've created is one for turning the lights on. So I'm going to associate that with this gesture. And I'm going to go ahead and tune that. Okay. And I could complete it. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and associate that with the lights on. And let me go ahead and just hide this recording. So now, lights on. Okay. And say I wanted to create one for lights off. Just like that. Let me go ahead and associate that. Lights off. I'm going to hide the recording. So, lights off. Lights on, lights off, lights on. All right, uh, so yeah, there's all sorts of gestures you could do. Uh, so I was thinking in games, uh, there could be situations where uh, you don't always want to interact with a collidable object and you just want to accomplish a task uh, without actually colliding with something. So I think gestures are a good solution for uh, non-collidable actions. Uh, so. Yeah, let me go ahead and show you turning on uh, the audio for this, uh, this scene I created. Uh, let me turn the lights up. Uh, so... Okay, and I'm just going to tune it. As you can see, I'm pretty off. But I could accomplish it. So let me go ahead and associate this with uh, the audio. Volume up. And... Now we hear audio. 
So, uh, we could do the same for turning the audio down. Yeah, so sometimes it's kind of hard to repeat uh, previous actions, but uh, with enough tuning, I'm sure you could get it just right. So let me go ahead and show that previous one. So yeah, that's how uh, you can effectively turn up and turn down audio or things with percentage changes over time. Uh, so now I have one more recording I just wanted to show you, or one more action actually, and that's, uh, I don't know if you can see them, to my left and to my right, uh, there's cannons. So I'm going to associate them with this gesture. I'm going to tune it, make sure I can accomplish it. Okay, looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and hide that. And so now, I'm gonna fire the cannons. So, yeah, that is uh, the gesture recording and detection package I created for Unity. Thanks for watching.